Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. This time we are going to jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in as Andromeda. I tried to start up a run as Andromeda a moment ago, but it crashed straight away because I picked up an item. That error is still there, the developer knows about it. It's all chill. We'll jump in as this guy because we haven't played as him in quite some time, I don't think. Ooh, I have maybe screwed up here. Yep, I've screwed up massively. Okay, do you know what? I'm just going to just gonna restart. <laughs> We're not on a streak or anything. I'm just going to just gonna roll that one right back. Pretend that never happened because it's, it's probably gonna take me a little while to to reacquaint myself with um, the tiny planet shenanigans that this guy has. I really like this character, but he can be a little bit tough to hit things with. But he also just has a lot of synergy potential. I just think tiny planet has a lot of synergy potential in itself, anyways. So that's always fun. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, just because we're kind of getting close to the time, I may have already asked this, but I'm going to ask it again regardless. What's your guys' plans over Christmas and New Year's? Are you doing anything exciting? you seeing family? Are you spending it on your own? Are you spending it, spending it with uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever? be interesting to know. Just because um, we've kind of been planning out hours over the past few days, me and my girlfriend. We're going to go back home. As I always say back home, but it's not really home anymore, but it still is home. Go back to see my parents and... Um, we are th probably going to actually have my girlfriend's parents come over to my parents for Christmas dinner, which is something we haven't done done before, which I'm actually really excited for. Because for one, my mum's just a fantastic cook, but also it's kind of just like the more the merrier. My mum really, really likes cooking for a large amount of people. Like, the more people she can cook for, the happier she is, uh, which is insane in my opinion. It's so stressful when you have to cook for any more than like three people. Um, but uh, anyway, she's going to be cooking for my girlfriend's parents. Uh, like, obviously, my family, uh, that includes my, myself and my sister, my um, my grandma's coming over, and we're going to have the next-door neighbors over as well. So it's going to be a rather large Christmas feast, and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I think it's going to be really nice having, like, a really big meal, because uh, I only have one sibling. I have a, a younger sister, uh, so we've never had, like, a big family meal sort of thing. We, like, I, I have uh, aunties and cousins and stuff, but we've never really had everyone over at once. Or, like, not in a long time. So it'll be nice to have something like that um, to look forward to over Christmas. And then for New Year's, I'm actually going to go to um, a New Year's party for uh, that someone that I work with is hosting. Um, we started sort of meeting up a little more often. We're, we're, we're good friends now. Um, ooh, thank you. But, yeah, we're pretty good friends now, and he's invited me over. And I'm, I'm quite excited for that as well, actually. Because um, we've, we've met up with him a few times, me and my girlfriend. We've met up with him and his girlfriend. And, yeah, they're, they're just really lovely, really nice. Ooh, two very, very good items here. The drummer boy thing is really good, and the D-stock. D-stock is one of those items that I feel like is still... It, it, a game brick is still so capable with it. You can get some interesting stuff going on. Golden key doesn't do much for us, but this man... This man could be... I think I'll probably buy the drummer boy, just because I think that's likely to be a little more potent. Basically, that's like every... Every one second, we get double damage for half a second. So basically, it's just upping our overall DPS output, which is really, really nice, of course. Hopefully, we can get a petrified poop in here um, and pop some poops. But I'm not really counting on that. I might want to use just a bit of melee here. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was close. I, like, backed myself down that alley and was like, wait a minute. This isn't going to go the way I think it is, is it? <laughs> oh, you little shit. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but... I basically hook shot one of the flies directly into myself using uh, my Andromeda shots there. Um, we get the sibling sly. Um, normal tier familiar. It, uh, it seems pretty basic. I think we should go for a gravity shift and hope for the best. That is not a good gravity shift. That's literally nothing. We got some wisps out of this, but not really the sort of thing we're looking for, I'll be honest. That's a little, uh, that's a little upsetting. I have to say, that's a little upsetting, but we continue on. I mean, we, we got we got an extra item out of this floor anyways. Now, the, the, the other question here is, is there much more money available to us? I think we, we, we owe it to ourselves to try and get Pageant Boy first. It's an unlikely scenario, but either the box or Pageant Boy could be good. Ooh, this, these guys will drop the, the Black Pony, won't they? Uh, Black Pony's actually pretty damn good for us here. This is a boss that I actually find ridiculously tough for how early it can show up. Uh, just because it can create a, 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 an absolute wall of creep. Like, this time, it's been a little kinder to us, but it can be really problematic. The head itself is not a problem at all, but... Its ability to create those creep bombs can really screw you over. 
There you go. But you, honestly, a pony. I don't think I have the mod on that adds a bunch of synergies to it. But giving us flight and giving us um, giving us an active as well, really, really nice. And obviously, the speed boost is pretty huge. I'm just sort of thinking where our options are here. There's surely a few options left. Now, there is second secret room, but I'll be honest, I'm really unsure as to where that might be. Because it could be here, it could be here, or it could be off the back of some of the rooms over this way. And I wouldn't like to call it. I think first things first, we're going to bomb this guy and see if he drops anything. Because that, that changes everything. I, th I think we're going to have to duck out and, and call it quits. But I think we will go to the downpour because we've got the extra key available. And we'll maybe go for a mother run this time around. We'll, we'll, we'll see where we lie after this floor. Because honestly, we don't really have the, the build for it right now. I'd say we'd have to get like a pretty good item on this item room to make me want to go for that. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, just because we didn't get an item on that first floor. Not really augmented our build all that much. Um, du, 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 du. I mean, Gimpy is pretty good. Oh, wait, we get two here. Okay, I'll take two. Um, we got the sanguine hook, which isn't great. Um, I don't think this will work, but I've got to try it. No, it doesn't. Whoa. Um, throwable hook that latches onto enemies. Um, pickups inflicts enemies with bruising while hooked on release. Inflict them with the hemorrhaging and fires blood tears in the direction they were released. Bruising enemies take bonus damage. It's maybe better, but I like the flight. Oh god, what has happened to our paw paw face? I've not really used the Sanguine Hook much before, I'll be honest. So, I don't know how sort of valuable it is. But it seems like it could be pretty good. I mean, especially for bosses. But it's like, losing flight plus the speed up is it's, it's a lot to lose. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just see how we do this floor. Also, you are pulling enemies closer to yourself, which seems like a bad idea with this character. Like that there. Look, I just hurt myself in confusion pretty much. Okay, that's not the sort of enemy I want to be hooking. Okay, this... This I can get behind. Walking on the creep, not, not a good idea. But that was working quite well. Um, I didn't realise this guy was dropping creep. We did get a gimpy proc, which is very, very nice. We kind of needed that. Oh, dude. Oh, gimpy, it procs again. I don't understand this champion very well. <laughs> that is probably quite prominently clear to everyone. He's not hes not functioning the way he normally does, as, as tends to do with champions. And I'm really struggling with it. Oh my lord, how is he not dead yet? How is he not dead yet? There you go. We got him. And we did not get a good item out of it either. Oh my lord. I really... I'm, I'm not sure the best procedure here. I'll be honest, I'm really not. I mean, we've, we've completely glitched out our head, which is hilarious. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really that into the Sanguine Hook now knowing... Oh, God. Now knowing how much of a pull it has. Like, if it didn't have that pull effect on enemies, I think I'd be more into it. But with that pull effect, it's really, it's really sort of driving me away from it. I think I'm going to take this and this. Ooh, beautiful. Very good, very nice. Yeah, I think... I think I'm definitely being pulled more towards sticking with the flight, because, um... Yeah, the Sanguine Hook just isn't really cutting it for me. Oh, it's gonna hit me, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch back over. I apologise to people that want to see this item, but I feel like for this character, the speed up and stuff is way more important. I'm pretty sure Secret Room's up here. Can we maybe get a freebie here? Yes. No, you bloody moved the wrong way, you shyster. C come over here. I don't know if I can get a freebie going here. This is kind of a difficult freebie, I'll be honest. Um... Nah, I don't think I can. I'm not going to bother. We just exit the room and re-enter. We can also get um, some extra stuff going on right here because... We can get into here a little easier. For half the half the cost. Okay, I'll take this pill, why not? Clairvoyance. clairvoyance? I can't remember what clairvoyance does. 
But yeah, I'm quite liking how we look on the horse with that glitchy gimpy head. It's quite funny. Right, we've pretty much cleared out this floor now. Do we want to buy the brooch? Let's see if our, our trinket is discounted at all. It hasn't. I'll take it in case our trinket ends up discounting things on future floors and working in our favor. Oh, I did not mean to press that, but there you go. I can't just walk right into it. Um, second secret room likely to be here. There you go. And it is a trinket, it is a trinket masher one. I think I'm going to mash this. I know I wanted that, but still, with this. See what we get. And I'm either going to take whatever it gives us or give us or give me the molding clay. Ah, uh, we'll take the molding clay. I really like molding clay. It has the potential to be so good. Uh, it is only a 50% chance for it to proc, which I didn't actually know until someone posted in my Discord they got a golden one that had 100%. I thought it was always 100%. Yeah, I thought it was always 100%, so it was a bit of a shock to me to see that it wasn't, but hey her. Just headbutt the hell out of that guy. But, yeah, honestly, it gives you some really good extra stuff here and there every now and again. Okay, you can you can throw your fish. What is this dude? I don't think I've seen this enemy before. Boop, bip. It's okay, we can keep our distance from them. Was he a champion? He dropped a heart, so maybe he was. These flies get pulled into you. It's so annoying. Like, it's like a tears hook shot, as I said earlier. Very frustrating. Right. Now, what would be really nice is getting Dark Bum as well to go along with Gimpy. I'm really hoping we get a tear effect that brings Tiny Planet a little more in line at the minute. Hey, look, I made this room, apparently. It says my name at the bottom. The Turtle Melon, unnamed. Because I'm having a really hard time killing stuff. Give me a tech zero. Prank cookie. Grants multicolored tiers with different tier effects. Ooh, yes, please. Flatstone would have also been interesting, but this is the sort of thing I was looking for. Granting different colored tiers that have different, different effects going on. Got a lot of cool effects. Crits and all that sort of stuff. I like it. This is sort of the exact item I was looking for, I'll be honest. Do, 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 do. We get an Emperor card there. Because this is a two charge room, we're going to get two charges. It's literally useless to not use our active in here. Some of the shot speeds on these are kind of crazy. I'll take the Emperor card just in case. I don't know what health I'm currently on, so I don't know if I want to do Curse Room. I feel like I really like... I, I wouldn't say I underrate Curse Rooms, but I feel like I often don't use them when I probably should. Considering the... The cost to benefit ratio, I feel like I need to need to value them a little more highly in each run. I feel like it's something that I don't do often enough. Whoa, what the fuck happened with you? Dude. Mm. There's some weird stuff going on in this room. What the hell? I'm confused by this. Removes floor curses. Ah, that's what it does. Okay. Um, I think I probably still want the Emperor. In fact, with the Emperor card, we can actually get in here and out for free. Let's just do that. And we got the Dark Prince's Crown. While at one full red heart, two fire rate. Okay, that doesn't actually work for us, I don't think. I mean, literally there's no reason to not take it, I don't think. But I don't think that does anything for us, right? I don't think there's any way for us to proc that properly. I think I've got an idea here. Right. Oh, he jumped straight in the water. Come on now. Right, I've got an idea. If this works, this will be pretty, pretty great. So we, we wait for him to do that, we bomb him, and then we go like that. There you go. Literally insta-kill. Oh, there's a little baby one. His child, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your father. It was not my uh, not my decision to do that. I'm so sorry. Take some moral hearts. Um, and I think we're good to go. We could probably look for secret room real quick here. It's not there, so it's most likely... Probably here. Let me just quickly double check that. No, it's not there. Um, so it's most likely in the... Uh, hmm. I'm really bad at judging where the actual door should be here. Um, I suppose it could be here. I'd be surprised if it is, but I'm going to try it. Ah, balls. Do, do, do. Nah, I'm not going to look for it. I'm pretty sure it's here, but... Actually, I can line it up pretty easily. Let me, let me give it a go. Let me give it a go. There you go. It is there. 
I was just more so hoping it'd be over on the other one, so it'd be easier for me to uh, get into the boss trap room for free. I'll open up both of these, why not? Got Mum's Pearls, not bad. The Hermit card is decent. We got Mother Transformation already. That is a very early Mother Transformation. Not that it's super valuable with this character anyways, but it's cool to see. Right. We are going to go down to the normal floor, and I'm going to try and come back up. I didn't get my knife piece there. I realized that, but don't worry about it. I'll just spawn it in. Shh. <laughs> if I want to do a mother run, I will. When I go for the actual, um, like, w when we start our new save file, which is, I think that's what I'm going to do. For Like, I ask, I've been asking you guys over the past few days, what do you want to see when we hit 10k? I want to spice things up, but how? And honestly, a lot of people seem to agree that doing a, a brand new save file is the best way to go. Where we, like... Start over with all the mods and everything. So we go for all the new modded unlocks. We go for all the vanilla unlocks. We try and do everything. Um, a lot of people seem to agree that's the best way forward. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That's that's the that's the clearest thing sort of in my mind right now. Um, and yeah, w when we do end up going for that, I will basically try to 100% refrain from using the console to cheat things in. The only time I'll ever do that is... Um, is if, it, if it's like a bug that causes it. If, if like, I pick up an item and it likes the hell out of my game, or like, some some bug occurs where it, it doesn't let me do something I should have been able to do sort of thing, then I'll, I'll correct those issues. But I'm not gonna do things like, oh, I've missed the key piece, time to, time to spawn it in. It's more gonna be like, no, no, I've missed the key piece, now I've gotta do a different boss. Hypercoagulation is not good for us. Unfortunately, we've not really gotten any opportunity to use gravity shift like, at all, which is a real shame. Yeah, I was hoping we'd be able to use uh, Gravity Shift a little more often, but our item rooms have either had good items or... Yeah. Puberty Pills now give damage up each instead of contributing to the outer transformation. Damage is lost while not holding this trinket. Diminishing returns. Eh, that seems way too specific. If, like, if it also increased the, com like, how common Puberty Pills are... I probably think about it, but I it didn't say that it did. I kind of wish these little ghosties just picked up the uh, the keepers and threw them. It'd be pretty funny. Okay, these guys are a problem, but yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of interesting going for unlocks and stuff with Fiend Folio and stuff on. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet, so don't like take this as gospel, but I might, I might add some other character mods that are really popular that people are always asking me to play. Um, a lot of the character mods within this mod have had pretty significant reworks and updates that make them a lot more appealing to me, um, and they do all have unlocks and stuff, so... There's a chance. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but there's a chance. I would need to get all the art done for them first, which is... A big job for either Skull or Never Named, whoever decides to do it. I'm guessing it'll be Never Named, to be honest. Because uh, he's been kind of doing the recent modded ones. Uh, but, yeah. Um, we shall see. Ooh, Planetarium. Hello. Wasn't expecting to see you, but I thank you. There you go. Nice. Oh, damn. That guy didn't die. Right. What Planetarium might would we be looking for? Maybe Vesta? Vesta could be pretty good. What's left? Oh, there's another mushroom up here. I didn't even see you. There's mushrooms in every corner that I just didn't see, apparently. Vesta. Mercurius. Eh. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Getting to have all the doors open, eh, it's not that good. It's it's kind of useful, but also not really. Like, we can kind of scout like this and see where we want to go. Right. There you go. Try to get as much, much collateral as possible with that. We need some more tears up and stuff as well, I think. That's what I'm missing out on.
I would like some more of that. Ow. Just walk into that guy, why don't I? Not bad. Angel deal. Ooh, nice bit of damage up there. That's lovely. Angel deal can give us prosperity, which doubles all of our familiars. Which is kind of an interesting idea when it comes to um, the, the molding clear. Didn't really think about that. I'm going to go see if I can find my shop real quick. Ow. Okay, we've got to clear this room out. That was a stupid hit by me. And we got the Wicked Crown in here for sale as well. What the hell? Oh, that was a good hit, sir. That was a good hit. That was a not a good hit. Stop hitting me. Okay, let's get gone. Moose Fall Curse is now. I'm going to set my sun card with me. Right. We don't have the bombs available right now. I thought we would. Hmm. We don't have a shop either. Um, unfortunately, I think we have to skip out on the mother room. I thought I'd have the uh, the bombs available there, but I've, I've used them all over the floor doing stupid shit. Because I forgot. You popped out your cage. No, don't get back in there. That's not what was meant to happen. There you go. I kind of forget that the, the horses give you free secret, uh, thingy room entry, because you just do that and go straight out. Take no damage. Da -da 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 -da. Ow. I forgot how big that guy was. I, th I tried to get around him. Health isn't looking so hot right now. Dude, calm down, you big earth. Pretty good item. Pretty good item. There's this little, little bit of a weird one. We got a holy mantle here. Don't know where we got that from, I'll be honest. Why is this dude not doubled? We have a bomb for that. Oh, you're raging. You are raging, my good sir. I just want to see if this is any good. Nah. Not when we've only got one key. Wonky, wonky. Oh, we got two Bob's brains. Lovely. <laughs> that was pretty good. Back to back. Back to back. Smix smack. We'll do whatever mini boss this is. Where's my arrows? There's the bombs that we needed last floor. Whoopsie. All right, let's go quickly go back and get that secret room. Just see if it's an item worth having sort of thing. It's not, but it is a good amount of money. It is a decent amount of money. I could do this and go, woo! Just get through some of these rooms a little quicker. <laughs> I actually managed to kill an enemy as well. That's great. That's kind of hilarious. I'm going to finish this room just so I can do that again. Although there's a shop here. I'll wait until I've been to the shop first. In fact, yeah, yeah, let's skip this room. Do this room. Easy. Check out the shop. Respawn as a random character on death. Mm. Roll of film. What does that do again? Half heart damage. Yeah, that's actually pretty useful. And then let's get this lined up. Oh, wait, we need to do this for the charge, don't we? Boop, boop, boop. We're attaching everything. Some of these enemies are a pain in the ass to kill. Oh, he's got like a little aura around him. What the hell? Oop, did not mean to spend that key. That is a huge waste of my only key. Whoopsie. Hopefully this room clear drops a key for me. And I can repent for my sins. We shall see. Right, um... Yeah, now we go. <laughs> Easy, straight to the boss. Ah, oh, it's this boss. This, this is. I, I, I kind of like this boss, but I feel like he can be really overwhelming at times.
Okay, I always forget as well that the eggs don't count. Like, we don't need to kill the eggs. They're just kind of there to bother us. Oh, I didn't know he could spawn multiple at once. He spawned... That, that one's still available, but he spawned the, the other two as well. What the hell? What on earth? I managed to kill him before I killed the actual worms. Is that meant to be able to happen? Interesting. We got some speed, of course, some shot speed, which is nothing for this character, and some luck. Not bad. Right, we keep going. I'm, I'm not quite sure how to feel. One second. There you go. Sorry, just messaging someone. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to feel about the quality of this run. I feel like it's got some of the some of the things we need. I feel like the, the little cookie thing we got with all the tier effects is really good. The arrow item is pretty good, although I don't really see it proccing that often, which is a shame. I'm not quite sure why it's not. Um, yeah, we got some damage in there. Mercurius is interesting. I don't think it's that good. It's nice for the speed up, but like... Eh, it just promotes me doing this, and I feel like this is just skipping out on a lot of room rewards. But at the same time, if I'd have to clear rooms, especially when I'm finding dead ends, then why the hell would I? Here's the boss, at least. So we'll, we'll clear this room. And we'll go try and find our item room. And yeah, I gotta say, I've kind of been wanting to use Gravity Shift. We've not really found a, a good occasion to use it, really. And it's kind of a shame, yeah. I'll do this to go to the arcade. In fact, ugh, that didn't work out as I planned it, but hey ho. Okay, here we go. We do not have a key for either of these, though, so we are going to have to clear some rooms in a second to get keys. Or potentially get keys, should I say. Yeah, I don't know. This, room, this, this run's not really got a ton going for it. There's a key. Lovely. That's not good enough. And this is awful. <laughs> uh, this is annoying. Maybe I'll get really lucky. Nope. Maybe I won't. Whoopsie. No, no, no. Okay. Um... I don't really know what to say. This run's kind of big stinky doo-doo now. It's not really got any good items. We're on the struggle bus. We're not in time for boss rush either, but even this mum fight I think is gonna take a while. I think it I think one of the big things for me right now is we don't have fire rate. We don't have any fire rate ups. And that's really problematic for us. I feel like that's definitely causing issues. By the way, as well, something that I wanted to mention just in general about the the new like new series and the, the face reveal I've got planned and all that sort of good jizz. Ju jizz? I was going to say good jazz. I said jizz. I meant good jazz. Um, all that sort of good stuff is that um, I don't know when it will be. Obviously, one of the main factors in not knowing when it will be is the fact that oh, that is a troll and a half and you know it. I just spent all of my fucking money, and I get Stairway, which I can't do anything with this floor. I'm not even going to bother looking at what you've got to offer me. Um, we do have a glass spin down. That's kind of interesting. I don't know where we got that from. Um, we're going to have to clear rooms here if we, if we want money for Stairway, so we can't really do the skippy skippies. Um, but what I was going to say is, obviously the main factor in that at the moment um, is the... I don't know when 10k will hit, but the bigger issue is that there's a very good chance that 10k subs will hit while I'm not here. Um, like, I'm, I'm going to be going home to see my family over Christmas for about five days. 
And looking at the sort of trending of, of how many subs I'm gaining at the minute, there's like a fairly decent chance that I hit 10k during that time or just before, which is very problematic for me because if I do, I'm not going to be here to to make videos or change my schedule to fit around that. So the case might be that you guys get a bunch of backlogged normal videos, such as this one, and the 10k video comes maybe a week late, like after I actually hit 10k, it won't be dead on the mark, which is a bit of a shame and kind of annoying, but I, I really, if that does pan out that way, I really don't see how I avoid it. Now, you could say, well, you can pre-record the 10k videos, which is technically true, I could, but it leads to a different problem in the fact that when I go home, I have to schedule all my videos from my PC. I have to upload and schedule them all for when they want to go out. But if I don't know exactly when I'm going to hit 10k, I can't schedule them. If I schedule them and I, and I release like for a certain day and release them and I'm only at 9.98k subs, it's not going to make enough sense. <laughs> So it's like, I'd rather it be a few days later. Also, by the way, we are definitely going to die right here. I'm, I'm shitting the bed right now. Um, like, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be releasing it at the wrong time. I'd rather release it maybe a, a few days late where I'm on like 10.1k or something. I don't know. Um, and then have like a proper fresh start to the series. I don't know how people will feel about that. You know what, do you know what needs to happen, actually? Gimpy procced like three times at the very start of the run, and literally hasn't bothered to proc once since then. It'd be nice if we had some gimpy action going on. Really hoping we get enough money for uh, Stairway as well here. Go to sleep, little fellas. <gasps> Golden penny, that could be what we need. Don't proc just like three times though. Give me at least 10 cent. Okay, good. We are in the running to actually get an item. Maybe if you get me up to 30, that'd be crazy good. I doubt you will though. Nah, not quite as kind as that. Good. Aha, you're the same as me. Oh god, you still hit me though. Please survive this floor. Please survive this floor. Nah. Oh, what the hell? What the hell happened then? We like, got hit and died, but I didn't die, and I let off a massive explosion. No idea what happened there. Legitimately no idea what happened there. I am confused, but happy. Oh, it's because I've got the roll of film, isn't it? The roll of film is the reason I can't die. Okay. Really not good items in the slightest. Like, this is just not, not what I was looking for. And my spin down doesn't give me anything better either. So... Hasn't really saved us at all. I was really hoping I'd get something crazy good or I could at least spin down into something crazy good. But that is not how we roll over here. Um, I think, I think I want to just absolutely beeline it for the exit if I can. I mean, some rooms like this mean that I can't because if I try and beeline it through these, I'll get hit. Oh God, I tried it anyways and it was a bad idea. I'm just got to be cautious about where I'm moving. Just the, the lovely thing about this item, yeah, it's just the ability to so easily suss out the dead ends. It's very, very nice. Like that. No need for that. Dead end. No need for that. No need for any of this. Nor that. Nor this. 
And there you go. We're up to the last room we actually have to complete. Now, I have to actually survive this room, which is not super guaranteed. Oh my lord. What is going on in this room right now? This fellow that scares me more than anything. Dude. What a fucking shot. Did you see that absolutely crazy shot he got on me then? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.